So what's up guys, Lazy Neil here, and today I'm giving in another shot into adding an SSD. Yes, I finally got the 2242 form factor variant SSD with me. This is the Samsung P1, I think. It's called the PM911. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to be removing this right now to show you guys what exactly it is. So let's look at it together. Ah, this packaging is cool. So there you go. This is the uh, PM911 NVMe uh, Rev0 uh, 2242 variant of the SSD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding it inside this laptop. And as you know, my first try, it had not been well <laughs> and this does not fit. <sighs> that sucks. And so uh, if you want to watch, you know, the full opening of this, by the way, and what I hated about it and the rant itself, you can check the part one of this. And in this one, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm simply just going to be adding the SSD and uh, checking that it works or not. Now, there's two reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, number one is I have to check that this works or not, uh, because if it doesn't, I need to return it back because again, this is EB at the end of the day. And number two, this is used. So again, I need to check and um, see if it works or not. Number three, I want to check if uh, Honor's one terabyte claim is true or not. And uh, number four, I seriously require some more space on this laptop. So yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, again, this is the one I bought. I even uh, told that, you know, in the Indian market, you get uh, the transcend one terabyte. Again, I've not checked that out. You can check the Q&A video uh, for more information on that. But uh, basically, there's a transcend one for 6K. This is uh, around around 7,900-ish because, um, again, I bought from eBay and I thought there was no uh, replacement for this, at least in the Indian market, but uh, thankfully there was. But again, I have not checked that out. So today I'm going to be trying this one out. So hopefully this works and yeah, let's get to it. Cool. So for this, you will require some screwdrivers. Again, you can watch the previous video, uh, which I did. Um, to get more details on this. I'm not going to be boring you with anything. So metal parts tray. Um, this is a guitar pick kind of a thing. And also a cloth so that uh, your laptop doesn't get scratched. Cool. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing all the screws over here. So with the T talk T5. So there are around 10 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 10 so hopefully you guys can uh, see that so yeah uh, what you need to do is you need to remove all the screws and then you need to uh, with the pick you need to basically pry your way uh, throughout it and then you'll get access to the pack so yeah let's do that right now Okay, so guys, I removed all the screws up. So now let's start with the prying and yeah, let's do that right now. Okay, you must have heard that um, noise at this point of time. So again, just gently pry. If you think that some things are not coming properly, just, just be patient and just do it slow and steady always use plastic things so that uh, your uh, this doesn't get messed up so uh, i think it requires a little bit more prying there you go and now it's just a matter of just removing this from all the sides. Cool. So there we go. We have removed the thing itself. And here is my pick completely devastated. Okay. So by the way, here is the M.2. Uh, again, I have mentioned it in the previous video. I'm not going to go with too much. Uh, this is the current one, the current NVMe SSD, the fan, battery and things like that. 
So yeah, let's remove this screw um, over here. Let's remove the screw and let's add the new SSD. Uh, adding the SSD is very simple. Uh, just pry this plastic thing up because that is coming in the way. And hopefully you guys can see that. And just this a bit okay you can put it on top not a problem i you've seen i've teared the paper up a bit but that's fine not an issue um, let's add this thing back i really like the new toolless uh ssd thingies uh, which don't require to screw in this stupid small ass uh audios okay i think it does keep it in which is good and yeah let's see how it is let's see let's see let's see okay let's use a bigger one just to just to firm it down cool and that's about that now let's test this out and let's see um if it works or not Okay, so let's flip this up now and uh, let's see if this works or not. So I think I should better just put the back plate at least on to an extent so that it doesn't get uh, screwed up. So I've just put, I've not firmed in the back, the back plate yet, but uh, hopefully you guys can see. Okay. Laptop is starting. I can show that to you. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do for you guys. Okay, let's check if the device is uh, detected or not. Let's move to. Okay, so we all we only have the current two drives. If you can see that you only have the current two drives which is okay let's check if it comes in the disk manager yep there you go guys now if you can see that um unallocated uh 953.87 gb so yes it does get detected pretty cool okay so for this what you just need to do is make a simple volume click on next next you can name it anything in this case i'm just going to name it n next and name it uh, uh, where did it go name it just uh, local or maybe um, local disk okay so local disk and next finish and there you go guys we have our new one terabyte ssd inside of it and here is the one terabyte ssd so i'm just going to run crystal disk mark now and hopefully you guys can see the results so crystal disk mark yes and then this is the end drive right? Okay, and I'm just going to do all. Okay, so guys, so this is the result. So sequential 1MB, that is 2411.06, read and 1823.23, write. Uh, sequential 128K, it is uh, 2392.69 and 1785.14. Random 4K reads, right, that is... Uh, uh, um 1209.19 and 1107.55 and the q 71 is random read and write 4k is 1991 and 209.64 so these are the results again you can do whatever you want with this uh, results itself what you just need to know is that again it depends on uh ssd to ssd uh in this case mine is a little bit slower in terms of uh, uh the the norm the one which is there inside this laptop itself so yeah, that's about that. 
another thing what I can do is I can just show you uh, that I can copy things. So let's copy the 4K or maybe the 8K. Let's copy this. The video which I had made, uh, I think uh, the video editing, um, the video editing video on. <laughs> okay, so local disk in and let's paste it. So, whoa, that was pretty freaking fast. Okay, again, this is a 2.88 uh, GB um, video. So, that is whew, pretty good, man. Okay, let's try to copy this back into videos. And let's paste this. Again, damn fast, man. Damn fast. Cool. So that's about that. Uh, now let's uh, just close the system itself and let's uh, let's close the system now. Oh god. Okay. That was not good. Okay. Let's close the system down and uh, let's put this on again. You should not do this way. Uh, you need to close the back panel, which I didn't. Uh, before so let's just do that right now okay so yeah we got ourselves a back panel now again the SSD is over here I have turned off the laptop itself so now let's uh, add. so what I would say suggest is take this corner and just jam it in like this okay so that all these parts get clipped in properly see this and now you can go with the top parts so if you hear all the clacks and clicks that means it's going well so yeah that's about that you can do an inspection if required just all the edges again you can do some inspections here and there, but uh, I think mine went pretty well. Check for any scratches or anything of that sort. And uh, let's add all the screws now. So, what do I think about this? To be honest with you, I know I paid a little bit more than expected, but it's a Samsung uh, SSD, so I'm pretty happy about that. And also, uh, I understand it's a used one. It doesn't have, it only has one year warranty, but things like that. But the guy itself who I purchased this from was uh, pretty nice. You know, in the messages, you know, I was, I was talking about, you know, that uh, I get it cheaper. Can you do a return or things like that? But uh, he said, uh, if you don't like it, you can always return it. But I think in this case, I won't. Because uh, if it works, I guess uh, just spending a little bit more on a more better brand, even when it's used, um, it's fine, I think, in one way or the other. Again, uh, if you are in the market uh, and you want to buy from eBay, you can. I'll be linking that too in the description down below. But before that, I would suggest, uh, again, not try it tested by me. I didn't test it out because I don't have that with me. Uh, you can maybe go with the Transcend, which is 6,000 for one terabyte. It's like one, it's around, uh, uh, you know, one around 2K or 1.5K lesser than what I paid for so and also it will come much faster uh, than my eBay thingy which came from China but I'm happy that it came and uh, so that's why I said hey let's uh, make a video on this because uh, if it doesn't work then I have a video to show to the guy who I bought it from and if it works hey I think I'll just uh, keep it so just put all the screws back in. So let's just do that. Take your time on this. You don't need to go too hard on this because that's about that. And there you go, guys. Uh, that's 
how uh, you can install a uh, extra SSD. Again, this is one terabyte. So one terabyte does work on the Honor Magic Book. So I have 1.5 terabytes of storage from there. Some obviously is going to Windows 11. So yeah, the speeds and all are great. I have no issue with it. To be honest with you, I'm even happy with the SATA SSD uh, because I normally, for my PC, I use a SATA SSD. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And this NVMe is just much faster uh, for dot transfer and things like that. Pretty cool. But yeah, everything seems to work fine. And if you want another uh, another look at it after, you know, after putting all the screws up, just to show you guys that the um, storage is still detected. Uh, here is my local disk N with the 8K thingy. I can go to properties and I can show that to you right now. Let's do that. So there you go. Uh, used uh, 3.01, free space 950, and total space is 953. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So yeah, guys, this wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope this helped anyone who had a who wanted to upgrade the SSD on the Honor MagicBook X16. This will also work for the X14 if you have that one to an extent. So yeah. This wraps it up guys again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.